Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet, and I've been asked by some subscribers and some friends about how do I store my craft supplies. So really, I have this tiniest closet ever in my laundry room, and I just have two shelves that are dedicated to art supplies. And as you can see, it's all just kind of fitting in there very compactly. Just a quick overview, on this shelf I have some paint bottles that are too big to fit inside my smaller containers. I have my paint brushes that we don't use as often, they're the texture brushes, and then the design rollers from Lakeshore Learning that we don't use as frequently either. Then there's two containers on this shelf that fit, and, and then on top of that are just a couple of items of bubble wands and whatnot that just don't fit into the bins. My finger paint and my sidewalk chalk are in these containers. Here is my Play-Doh mats and just the mat that I use as a drop cloth in my house when we do arts and crafts. And then a whole stack of other supplies. Now I like these containers because they're stackable. I know a lot of people like the type of containers where you can throw things in and they're open on the top, but these just really work best for my situation. Plus I can take them down and use the whole container and then when I'm done pack it all back up and just slide it right into its spot. So here I want to show you just an overview of what's inside each of them so you can get an idea. I highly recommend when you're organizing your craft supplies to just do a purge first before you go out and buy any containers. I chose these containers because they have these little um, hooks on the side that just snap right back to keep the lid down. They fit perfectly inside my um, cabinet, which is another reason why I like them. These might not be a great fit for you, but if you want to look into these, these were purchased at Walmart for about $3. This is my bubble container, and it just has my bubble wands and some spare bubbles. I have a big bubble um, jug full of bubbles but that's in another area of my house. This one is labeled my play-doh bin. It's kind of a free for all here. Once again I went through and I purged out all of the old play-doh that just was gross or mixed up and then we have a ton of tools which I still think we need to purge even though we did purge some of them. So um, play-dohs and cookie cutters in there too. And then on my bottom shelf I have my box labeled craft supplies. So this is like miscellaneous things. It doesn't really need a whole box to itself. So I have in here a pipe cleaners, my craft sticks in rainbow colors, there's um, some paper supplies in here, my straw, some glue, googly eyes, um, that kind of thing. So anything that's just, it's kind of my catch-all for just various crafts. And once again, if I limit myself to this size box, I won't overbuy. So I'm constantly purging out this container. This one is labeled stamps in ink and inside I have several stamp pads. This one I haven't even used yet. Several big stamp pads. Um, some smaller stamps. Now I kept this one in its caddy because I like to be able to take that out. But then over here I have stamps that are in a smaller container. So I did that on purpose instead of bringing them all out because I, I like having containers in containers so I can just pull out what I need. Just a thought if you're organizing your supplies. This one is labeled paint. I have my watercolors in here, my washable paints, my um, tempera paints, my new fun chuck markers which I am really obsessed with, and some glitter glue down here in the bottom. And then this one is paint brushes. It deserves its own bin because I do have so much. A couple of smocks in here for painting. And then I have my baggie full of brushes. Um, foam brushes from the Dollar Tree. Get those if you need foam brushes. Um, regular just paint sponges. And then all of my paint trays and paint cups. And like I said, I love how everything just slides right back into the place and I can take the container I need as a whole and then put it right back. So grouping like items together is the way to go. Let me know how you organize your craft supplies down in the comments. We all can benefit from all these great tips and tricks. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love. Day has come. It's my holiday gift guide. I have searched high and low for some really unique ideas.